next guest is a talented actor you know from the morning show. Her new highly acclaimed movie is called Past Lives. It's on demand now. Please welcome Greta Lee. <laughs> you here. I have seen you on the morning show, and you're fantastic on that. And uh, we have a mutual friend. Yes. Chef David do. Chang David is Chang. Uh, a very good friend of mine, and I understand of yours as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, question. Yes. Um, I was at his house, and we have young kids around the same age. Dave does. We do, too. Okay. And, and I just, I noticed he has, like, a very uh, professional, expensive-looking drum kit. Um, and, and I, we were sort of like, what's that? Yeah, you, you mean uh, his son Hugo has a drum kit, yes. Yeah, it was in the playroom, and we were like, interesting choice, what's that? And Dave, Dave says, oh yeah, Kimmel gave me that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are you, I don't, are you guys, are you, do you hate him? No, I love him. <laughs> um, however, I enjoy giving, um, when my friends have young children, uh -huh. I like to give those children drum sets. Yeah. <laughs> So that they, they think of me each day. Right. Sometimes at 5 o'clock in the morning. Sure. And well, just... I found that it, it creates a lot of hilarity, mostly for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, this is, I, you like pranks, right? So this I is... love them. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. That's a, an extended, long prank. It is a long time prank. But one of these days, one of these kids is going to be in, like, the Foo Fighters or something. And it's going to be like, oh, thank you for that prank. Yeah. Kimmel. Yeah. Um, so I would like you to know that for, for me. Yes. No, thank you. No, you don't want them. <laughs> well, what I would do is. Yeah. How old are your children? Um, I have two boys. They are age seven and four. Yeah, I give it right to them so that you really would be cut out of the equation. <laughs> okay. Okay, One that's way good. or another, there's going to be some noise. Okay. It's either going to be them playing the drums or you dragging them away. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he also told me that you are a wonderful person. He said oh, very did? nice things. And he said he, you were one of the first people to work with him at Momofuku in New York, right? Yeah. Um, I was a host at a host and a server so at So you'd his be restaurant. there at the front when people come in. Yes. Which I is was basically a, a hard job, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a very popular restaurant. And at uh -huh. that time, I mean, Everyone was coming through, and I was I was like the doorman. Basically. You were, and nobody's happy there. Well, some people are happy, but the people who are happy, you see just for a moment, and then you send them right to their table. Everyone else is either standing around and waiting, or you're telling them that they can't get in. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm having to tell them like, I'm sorry, it's a four-hour wait. Yeah, with the famous face. people uh, come Everybody. in. Everybody. Did you have any very bad experiences with any famous people that of you course. can share with us? Of course I did, and I, I, I will never name them. Oh, really? But, well, this is, okay, this is what's so crazy right now, Jimmy. I okay. am in all of these rooms because of the success of the movie, the love of, for this movie, with all of the people that I used to wait on. For real? For real, and they don't know that, but I do. Wow, and you don't ever tell them. No. Wow. <laughs> And do you ever see one that you go, oh, yeah, this one wasn't good. This one didn't uh, react well to the news that they were going to have to wait in line. Four hours? Yeah. Yes. Is it Matt Damon? Are you thinking of Matt Damon right. when his, you... His name runs with, yeah, yeah. Matt Damon. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> to be clear, no. Does his name sound like Fat Demon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, totally. <laughs> By the way, congratulations on the movie, and I'm sure you are in a lot of rooms because... This is um, uh, getting uh, what they call Oscar buzz, which must be very exciting for you. Yes, yeah. it is crazy. Yes. Does that embarrass you uh, when I mention that? A little bit. A little bit. I yeah. mean, I, you know, I'm trying to pretend. I'm trying to be really cool about it. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, it's so wild. And for I've, I, it's been a long road for me, and um, it's been two decades of dealing with my dad asking me things like, "So, are you medium famous yet?" 
to get to this moment. Did he really finally... ask that? Does, is he sincere or is he goofing around when he asks you that question? No, he question? really wants to know. <laughs> really? He's Are you medium me... famous yet? Yeah, he's been asking me that repeatedly for several decades. He just wants to know what to tell his friends. It's a very practical question for him. He just, he just wants to explain appropriately what's going on with his daughter. Does he not understand that if, in that event that if they know what you're doing, then the answer is yes, you are medium famous. I mean, it's got to be, it's kind of self-evident, isn't it? Well, I, you would think, but yeah. oh, what I'm doing right now is I'm bringing, I'm starting to bring them to as many events as possible just to oh. prove, you know, that it's real. I that, see. That I am now finally medium famous. What have you been bringing? <laughs> what have you been bringing them to? I brought them yesterday. We were at the L Women in Hollywood event. I, I was. I'm so lucky to be honored amongst this ridiculous lineup of people like J Lo and Jodie Foster um, and me, and, uh -huh. and I brought my parents. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I um, and my parents. My parents uh, met J Lo. They met J Lo. Oh, were they? Did they know J Lo? Like, were they familiar with J Lo's work? Yeah, they they knew J Lo. They were adamant about J Lo and, and Jodie Foster. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> and they were so weird. <laughs> they were so weird. What does he mean when you say they were weird? They were weird. They were like, uh, if there's a way to be simultaneously extremely nervous and aggressive at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> like it's just really like. It's it's disorienting and, you know, needing to tell them, like, do you know Greta Lee? Do you know her? Oh, really? But, they say that, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, are, did you at any point regret bringing them? Yes. You did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you will continue to bring them to these events. I think so. In the hope that Dad will then stop asking you this question. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Asking, you know, well, maybe this will help being on, you know? You could say, hey, look, I was on a show. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's going to watch. I think he's going to watch with all of his friends. OK, OK, um, good, yeah, good, so. all right. And did they go see the movie? I would imagine that they did. They did. Um, oh, God. They also did this other thing. After the movie came out, I found out that they were going to all of the theaters here in LA and buying tickets. So they went to the Grove and Century City because they, they wanted to scope out. They took it upon themselves to find out like how well it was selling. <laughs> and like, I, I had to explain to them, you know, like mom and dad, there's, there's actually a really effective system that in place that can handle that. You know, there's like the computers involved. And they would send me pictures of them, like selfies, you know, at, at the Grove, and like, like, with a report back, like, not a lot of Koreans in this audience at two o'clock. <laughs> I had to ask them to stop. That is really funny, and yeah. and but also very sweet in a way. Yeah. 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 Did you? I know you speak Korean in the movie. Did you? Uh, did you speak Korean like throughout your whole life, or when you were little, or what? Yeah, um, I uh, I did, but it was one of those things where growing up here in LA, I had become um, much more westernized, and I kind of, I mean, when I got the job, that was a real panic of mine of like, can I actually speak Korean? Yeah, right, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you lose a little bit of that um, as you just live, live life here, that's just, an, an essence of being bilingual and bicultural. Um, so yeah, that was a very kind of. Were your parents satisfied with uh, your? My Korean. Yeah, your. Yeah. That was the other thing with my mom. Like it had been months and months of training, and I was working with Bong Joon Ho's translator, this incredible woman, Sharon Choi. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember her at the Oscars. She oh, was a yeah. woman who would. I mean, the right. thing with her, her genius is she can translate jokes in real time. Huh. She's amazing. Huh. Anyways, we were you working together. You hear that, Caramel? Yes, I did. Yes, you know. Yes. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. You yeah. need a little help from you every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. like the Korean you. We That's could open amazing. up a whole new market oh, if my he God, could you just. Told, yeah. You totally. If did. he just paid attention for five seconds. <laughs> no, yeah. I am. I am. We'll, we'll do a good job together. Yeah. <laughs> so but she helped you out, and she helped me out. Um, but but anyways, when the trailer came out for the movie, and I sent it to my parents, um, my mom asked me. She was like, "How oh, which which means like, "Oh, interesting. It's Korean." 
I had been telling her for like <laughs> months what I was working on and like how vulnerable it is. Like, you know, it was really, it was a big part of my prep. Yeah. It's like completely over. I think what head. parents do is we don't listen to them for the first like 18 years of our lives and then they spend the next 40 not listening to us. Okay. That's their, it's called revenge. Yeah. Well, congratulations on everything. Thanks. I hope your parents behave themselves at all these events. I mean, I guess we'll see. To. We'll find out. Greta Lee, everybody. Pass yeah. lives.